All right, everybody, welcome back. So we did question one. Let's go through question two for the sample final for statistics for Math 132. All right, so here I have this question number two written out over here. And let's read it. It says, a store manager kept track of the number of newspapers sold each week over a seven-week period, right? So we have, uh, notice we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data values. And the results were as follows. So here are the numbers. Uh, find the five number summary for the data. Is the data discrete or continuous? So let's look at the first part. It says find the five number summary for the data. Um, so you have gone through this with your professor during the semester, but just to uh, recap, here the five number summary will be, uh, this will be it. So you need to have the minimum value, the Q1, Q2, Q3, max, and the maximum value. So here, for the minimum value, it's pretty straightforward. It's just the lowest data value, and the maximum value is the, you know, the maximum data value. Your Q2, your Q sub 2 will be the median of the entire data set, and your Q sub 1 will be the median of the lower half of the data set, and Q sub 3 will be the median of the upper half. So what on earth are we talking about over here? Let's actually just go through the problem step by step. So here, notice that first thing we want to do for this question is put the data values in order. So what's the lowest data value? It'll be 71 then 81, then 113, then 202, uh, 242, 248, and 269, okay? And now once we have these data values, what we wanna do is, this problem is uh, very straightforward. Here, our, our minimum, so here we have our minimum, our Q sub one, our Q sub two, our Q sub three, and our, Q, and our uh, maximum, right? So to find the minimum, it's very straightforward. It's just, you know, it's just 71. And what's the maximum? It'll be 269, okay? Um, here, to find the median, the next thing you wanna do is, first you wanna find these two values. Then you wanna find the Q sub two, which is the median. And notice that's the middle value. So what's the middle value? If, notice that if it's seven data values, you take three away from here, three away from here. So 202 is our median, right? And to find our Q sub one and Q sub three, what we wanna do is, if this is the median over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the median of these three numbers and notice that it's 81. And then we're gonna take the median of these three numbers over here, so that's 248. And that's it. We are finished with the question. Um, here, the question is stating, um, is the data discrete or continuous? So let's go over that real quick. Here, discrete implies only integer values, and continuous means uh, any value in between. So uh, what, on, what does this mean? If we look over here, um, it says a store manager kept track of the number of newspapers sold each week. Notice that if you have... Um, number of newspapers, right? Um, how many numbers of newspapers can you have? Notice you could have one newspaper, you could have two newspapers, you could have 100 newspapers, right? But you can't have like 1.5 newspapers. That's, that doesn't make sense, right? Or like, let's say if you wanted to count, you know, how many books you have, how many ice cream cones there are, you know? These are examples of discrete values because you need to have the whole value, okay? So for this question over here, the question is, is it discrete or continuous? It's just going to be discrete. What are examples of continuous data values? You have to think about like weight or um, temperature, um, temperature, uh, like height. Notice that why is weight continuous? Because here you could be um, 150 pounds. You could also be 150.1 pounds. You could be 150.00001 pounds, right? Um, notice that's the idea of continuous, that you could be anywhere, you could be any number between like, let's say 150 and 160 pounds. So that's the idea of continuous, that you have every data value in between. And you also have the whole numbers too. But you can't be like, 151.001 uh, newspapers, right?
So that's the difference between discrete and continuous. Discrete, you only have examples of whole integer values and continuous means you have everything in between. Okay, and in this example, because we're talking about the amounts of newspapers, this is an idea of discrete. Okay, um, let's do another question together just so we feel okay with it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okie dokie, so extra problem num for number two. Here, I had this problem for my class uh, one, uh, one time during the semester, but and I think it'll work for us too. So why don't you write down the question, read it, and try and do it by yourself. And um, yeah, all right, so here, um, a farmer kept track of the number of chickens sold each week over a 10 week period. The results were as followed. So for A, you find the five number summary for the data, and for part B, is the data discrete or continuous? I mean, right away, we just talked about discrete and continuous. So um, for this example, it would be discrete because, you know, you could sell, you know, 20 chickens, but you can't sell 20.1 chickens. So it can't be continuous, it'll be discrete. So how do I find the five number summary for this? The first thing we wanna do is put our data values in order. And notice that uh, the first data value is nine. So let's scratch that out. What's the next one? It'll be a 10, so we scratch this one. 14, okay. What's the next one? Uh, 16, 18, 18, so 16, 18, 18, 20, uh, 35, 35, 38. Okay, now here again we have to find the five number summary, so the five number summary. Oh, let me fix the camera angle, I'm very sorry. Okay, there we go. So here we'll have our, uh, our min, our Q sub one, our Q sub two, our Q sub three, and our max. Okay, now once the data values are in order, it's pretty straightforward to find the minimum. The minimum is nine, the maximum is 38. Okay, and now how do we find the median, right, of the whole data values? Um, let's see. So notice that we, we have how many data values? We have 10, right? So if I, let's say, take four away from here, and I take four away from here, we're left with 18 and 18. So the median would just be, uh, you know, like 18 plus 18 divided by two, so that's, you know, 36 over two, and that's just 18, right? I just did that because let's say if, um, let's say if there was like a, like a 20 here. I'm sorry, not a 20, let's, let's do like 19. Let's say if there was a 19 here instead of the 18, then it would have been 18 plus 19 divided by two, which would have been 18.5, uh, uh, right? Yeah, 18.5, okay. So here the median of the whole data value is 18. Now, how do you find, if you know that the median is 18, how do you find your Q sub one? When I first did this, I made the mistake and I thought, oh, okay, well, if I have 18 here, what's the median of this? Oh, look, it's 10 and 14. So then it just must be, um, you know, what I thought was, I'm like, oh, 10 plus 14 over two, and that's, uh, what, 24 over two, and that's 12, and that's my Q sub one. But this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. Um, your actual Q sub one will be 14. And the reason is because you have to think that the definition, if we go back, let me get the definition real quick. The definition of Q sub one is saying the median of the lower half of the data set. So the lower half, so what's half of the data set? It'll be these five numbers that represent the lower half of it. So what's the median of these five numbers? Notice it'll just be, if there are five data values, the median is just the 14. So it'll be 14. And what's the, data, what's the median of this one? It'll be uh, 35 for the Q sub three, okay? And if you feel like you wanna be very fancy and just, or you know, not even fancy, if you just wanna save some time on your exam, how do you actually do this question on your calculator? What you could do is, let's see. First you hit on, and what you could do is, let me zoom in a little bit, okay. And let me zoom out. Right. So here, what you're gonna do is, if you wanna just 
find the five number summary with your calculator, all you need to do is you hit stat and then you hit enter at edit. Okay, and then notice you have your L sub one over here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put the data values in here. And it won't even matter if it's in order, but what are the data values? Let's see, uh, nine, 10, 14, 16, 18, 18, 20, um, 35, 35, and 38. So notice that all the data values are in here. And from here, I could hit um, second quit. So now I'm in this, I'm in the home screen. And if you don't have this calculator, like it's a, you know, it's a pretty expensive calculator. If you just have like the regular TI-83 or the other 84, this also works, but um, you know, it just looks nice on this one. But all you need to do is you hit uh, stat again. And then from here, you're gonna hit right one. And you see we're at calc and you're gonna go to one var stats. You hit enter and then you just hit enter again. It may look different on your calculator, but notice that here, it already tells me the values. Here, my minimum is nine. What's my Q sub one is 14. Our median is 18. Our Q sub three is 35 and our maximum value is 38. So if you wanted to on your exam, you could just boom, just do this on the calculator, one, two, three, and that's it. You know, you wanna save some time and move on to the next question. but. Yeah, here's a little trick you could use. Um, and if you don't have a calculator, you know, or if you want to do it like this, you could just solve the problem like that. But okay, I hope this helped. We'll go to question three next.